Hello everyone, Pray Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Blindish. I'm gonna die. Let's do one of these. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Oh, that's Mumbo's. Hi, Jinjo. How's it going? Mumbo's Mountain. Two pictures, two to go. Gr a grunty quiz, and then a uh, death pit. You wanted to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing well? Uh, Cauldron Crew? Cool. I remember things. And the one I'm worried about the most. I'm facing backwards. <laughs> See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Oh, I know that one. That's a uh, freaking Rusty Bucket Bay. Boom. Boosh! Yeah! Quizmaster! No one can win! I was assured! By the makers of this board! It's not fair! I want to win! How I long to be real thin! Now you can take the prize on the show! While I up the wind winding stairs I go! You won't catch me! I've made sure! All the credits you'll have now endure. You barely fit in that hallway. Which prize shall we take, Kazooie? I still can't bring myself to her voice. Er, how about how about that grotty ugly thing? I think we should I think we should take Tootie. That's what I meant. Kazooie! <laughs> <laughs> nope, no more adventuring, more adventuring for you. Sure, let's get out of this dump. Yeah, my voice is cracking and stuff. And so yeah, we uh, <laughs> we're going through the credits or the fake credits as they are. And I'm just wiggling my th my controller on the side here. But yeah, I do, I am aware these are fake credits because, like I said, I've watched let's plays of this much like you guys have. But. Yeah, I think, like, the hard part is over in my head. <laughs> because, you know, the people who do the quiz show, the people who love this game and have played this game for ages and know the ins and outs of everything that could possibly happen with this game are the are people that still screw up on the quiz. And other than the one-time challenge, I aced it. Oh, there's Jiggies falling everywhere. Come on, game. Come on, game designers, get with it. So yeah, uh, bum credits. Hi, Bruntelda. I don't really have too much more to say about the game, to be honest with you. It's just... You have a lovely voice, Blubber, I want to say that. Uh, yeah, I forgot everything I was going to say about this so far. I think I'll leave, like, my actual full thoughts on the game until the very end. But I'm actually glad that I'm up to the point where I can get to the final boss and do the whole 100% thing and show what that 100% will really do for me in the end. God, you sound retarded. <laughs> oh, I am such a bad person. Hello, Tip Top. Grant Kirk Cope, the sound composer of the entire game. Chief free player. You mean beta tester? Rare free players. Okay, now we're probably coming in on the end of these fake credits. I probably could hold A, actually, couldn't I? No, I can't hold A. I cannot hold A to skip this. Wow. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> So, how you doing? How's your day? You make some good nuts crafts today, I hope. You best make some good. Uh, go me. I'm off to the lava world. Can kick your ass. I didn't hear it quite properly at first because I was doing the voiceover. But, that, but that's really how he is. Would 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 get would would get. Hi, Napper. 
What are your eyes doing? Seriously. I don't think they're skinned properly. Ugh. Cla Logo. 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 Stop. <laughs> How many poop noises can a toilet make? Oh, hi, Snorkel. I really hope we're closing in on the end of, uh, end of these fake credits because, uh... I mean, we're in Click Clock Wood now, and there's only, like, two other, like, major characters. Well, now one other major character. One other, well, the one other ma quote unquote major character was freaking Nabnut, and then that's it. Hey, you were a quiz question. I got it right. Thanks for talking so much. Now, we need to be done. Are we... Are we good? Oh, hi, Tootie. Thanks, Tootie. Bottles again. Can we be done? Well, I suppose I have to do the fake credits for the actual people who worked on the, the Xbox 360 version at this point. Oh, please stop. Now I'm just complaining, because this takes too long. I, I would press start, but that would kind of rob of the experience. Rare Big Jesus. Mark Boombox Big... Yeah, whatever your name is. <laughs> sure. You know, that'd be kind of embarrassing to ha be basically have your... Your assigned name to be Lago. Basically, hey, you're a big cheese in the company. You're named after a pooper. Enjoy the title. Winky face. Do you wanna... Wow, I'm, I'm really hoping this finishes up soon. This is long. I have literally run out of things to put in for additional commentary at this point. Are you about done? Uh. Oh, I can't even skip it. I tried to press pause to skip it because this is going on for way too long, but I can't. Let's suffer together. Mm. I know. I mean, you guys can skip ahead in the video if you want to. I won't stop you at any point. But this is going to pretty much go on until... This is pretty much just going to keep on going on until the game's like, Okay, fine, we're done. Jeez. <clears throat> oh, I hit B. Okay, I hit B and it got me out of there. Okay, cool. Maybe that, Hopefully it didn't screw everything up. Anyway, um, now that we've, well, by ba well, it went on too long, I couldn't hold it, I couldn't hold back anymore. Basically, what's happened, what happened is we got back home and then Tootie's like, and, or we got into like a fake vacation scene. And then Tootie's like, hey, get up there to that mountain. Gruntilda's still there and is probably still going to kidnap somebody again in the future. Stop her, finally. <laughs> And, yeah, that's basically what it is. Everything is fake after a certain point. Not that. I wasted it. I wonder where the yellow pot is. The other yellow pot, I should say. Excuse you. Leave me alone, please. I would like to go back up to Grunty's chamber if I could. This is silly. Anyway. Um. I would like to say there's more that I could really talk about, but. Yeah, look at that. It's all done. I wonder if I could do any, the other challenges, or, is, or if the whole board is lit up now. No, it looks like the whole board's lit up because I've beaten it. 
Oh, which means I have access to this one up. I have access to these one ups. <laughs> Grunty, you fool! Look what you've done! You give me ammunition. Anyway, what's this? Does this do anything? Nope. Alright, let's head up here. Let's follow Grunty up the mountain. Climb up the mountain. What, do I have to jump these stairs? I guess I do. Well, there's a one up in there. Here's the other yellow pot, I believe. Yep. Okay. So, uh, in here? Nothing in this window. All right. So this door requires 810 notes, which, um, you folks home there go with averages. Uh, you need, <laughs> you need to be averaging 90 notes per world to access, to, to get access to that. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there? To fill it up is no mere feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. Okay, how about... How about 20? Or 25, actually. I'm sad to say that they're... <laughs> they're stuck, because I'm safe here at the top. Now I'm going to go into here. Because I want goodies. Wow, you take a lot. You took a beating. Anyway, these are the chambers from the game overs. These are the. the oh wow, I went just what walked right on top. These are. The, yeah, I can't talk. These are the chambers from the game over screen, basically, where Grunty and Tootie kind of switch bodies, so to say, or switch predominant features. Um, that being said. We can now go into this part. Now, this is why you needed all 900 notes. 864. 828. 882. And I think there's a fourth door right here. That's... What was the number on this? Uh, 400... 846. So, wow, they're all kitty corner of each other. So, let's go ahead and open doors. Now, for gathering all the eggs... You get special little bonuses, like a full egg count, before you go into fight Grunty. Alright, so this one. There you go. And then you get a full red feather count. Basically right up and basically it fills you all the way up until your maximum. Or you, yeah. Did I tell you she puked in me? It was painful. Wait, how can it be painful to get puked in? Max out your gold feathers. And what's behind this door? We have a. Oh, it seems to be a hallway that leads somewhere. So you need like 98. Per, you need like 95 or 98 vote uh, notes per world to get access to that this one. But with with all but two of the remaining jiggies you have, you get to this. You get double health. And that is what 100% will entail. Anyway, even though this episode was a little bit short, I think I am going to cut it off here, folks. So I do want to thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Blindish. Join me next time for the finale of Banjo-Kazooie Blindish. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you then. Well, I started this off a little too early. Uh, maybe I will hold off on the ending for now. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Ah, what does Stranger Birdie's think thing mean? Er, uh, she said we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, awful, you know. She was sick and she was sick of me earlier on. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Sure I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Oh, Dinkpot. No problem. Just sploosh it on in and I'll fire you off to the top. <laughs> Yep.
you get you get a chance to peck the witch. All right, now I will actually say so long for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.